thank you. Okay. Our next storyteller is our new storyteller, trying it for the first time. Heather Jones is a proud mom of four children, ranging in age from four years old to 20. And her life was not busy enough, so she just started law school. <laughs> and Heather, Heather's dream is to help people who don't have a voice find their voice. Heather's story is called, There's No Place Like Home. Please welcome our first New Time storyteller, Heather Jones. A lot of faces. <laughs> so, um, I am incredibly nervous. I am so nervous that I am sweating bullets. My, to your mouth. my shirt is wet. I could win a wet t-shirt contest. <laughs> My husband and I are on our way back from a much needed family vacation. He is at the wheel. My two youngest children are in the back seat quietly, happily watching their iPads. And I am sitting in the front seat twitching with nerves. I have to make a major presentation to a big time funder. If we don't get that funding, we're gonna to have to lay people off. So it's a really big deal. And normally, it wouldn't be a big deal. I've worked in the nonprofit world for the last 20 years. So asking for money is what we do. Thank you. <laughs> so asking for money is what we do. But there's something about seeing the little faces in the box, being manipulated by technology that just sends me over the edge. So I'm gonna do it anyways. And my husband reminds me that I've got this. And as I'm about to log into the meeting, my daughter starts screaming in the background. And my husband and I look at each other and he flies across three lanes of traffic to get to the first exit. And as he's pulling into the gas station or into a gas station that we found, it's my turn to introduce myself. And I say, hi, my name is Heather Bagwell Jones, and I'm here today to tell you about an amazing program that I run and what an impact it would have on our community if we weren't here. I jump back in the car and I get my daughter settled. And I think this meeting's gonna be really quick but in fact, we are last on the agenda. And 45 minutes later, as we are getting up to where I live, I lose the internet connection. <laughs> so I'm madly trying to get the internet connection back as we're pulling up into the driveway. Now mind you, I'd had my oldest son who's 20. He's an amazing kid and he is would give you the shirt off of his back, but he's just a kid. And he is distracted at times. <laughs> but I knew that he could keep our house from burning down, and I knew that he could keep our pets alive. <laughs> so as we're pulling up, I see the house is still standing, and I'm very relieved. But I'm pretty panicked because I've now lost my internet connection just as we're supposed to present. So I scoop my daughter up, as we are walking into the house and I'm, the pets are greeting us, my husband's behind me, he is very relieved to be home, my son is happy to be home, and I walk into the kitchen and that's when I notice something's off. Did he leave something in the sink? Did he forget to take out the trash? So as I'm walking towards the living room with my daughter in tow, the smell gets stronger. And I look down at the living room rug and that's when I see it, a big wet pile of poop. <laughs> and my daughter doesn't know, she's still little and doesn't know not to touch stuff. And so I'm trying to stay connected to this meeting. 
Meanwhile, trying to get my daughter to get away from where that is. And I'm trying to get my husband's attention. So I am waving my hands, I'm doing dances, and he is in man cave mode, like just not with me. And so as she's reaching for the poop, I start to whisper, honey, there's poop on the floor. <laughs> honey, there's poop on the floor. Honey, there's poop on the floor. And then that's when I look down at the screen. <laughs> and I see all the little faces with a mixture of horror and delight. <laughs> and then I hear the host of the meeting say, now be careful because there's poop on the floor. <laughs> Of course, I am utterly mortified. And even with my Zoom catastrophe, we still got funding. <laughs> Nobody lost their job, including me. <laughs> and I learned a few things from that experience. One, to not take myself too seriously. Maybe I should enter a wet t-shirt contest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and most importantly, shit happens. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful, first time, another round of applause for Heather. Yeah.